I'm an applied microeconomist with research interests at the intersection of development, labor, and health economics. Broadly speaking, my work is interested in investigating family behavior in developing settings and understanding how family members interact in the face of risk, uncertainty, and market imperfections. In my job market paper, Farms, Families, and Markets, I investigate how small agricultural households interact in rural labor markets in Indonesia. Small, family-run enterprises are the backbone of developing countries, and millions of households around the world produce goods both for their own consumption and for sale into the marketplace. These households operate in complex, interlinked markets for labor, output, credit, and consumption, and face considerable risk and uncertainty in their decision-making process. But despite their importance, there's no consensus on the appropriate framework to model the interactions between buyers and sellers in rural areas. Understanding these households' constraints and choices is a key challenge for global development. To investigate this behavior, I turn to the neoclassical agricultural household model. The model incorporates a family-owned firm into the standard utility maximization problem and links profit maximization with time allocation and consumption choices. The model has provided a bedrock foundation for a large literature in development and labor economics and has been used to analyze policies such as trade restrictions, pricing programs, distribution of resources within the household, and the provision of property rights. Under complete markets and common assumptions, the model greatly simplifies the two-sided production and consumption problem into a sequential recursive form. If households are price-taking utility maximizers in a world of complete markets, the two problems become separated, albeit related. In my paper, I investigate the validity of complete markets using new longitudinal data from central Java, Indonesia. Complete markets and the separation of production and consumption has been an incredibly useful result, both for theoretical and empirical applications. However, it's a, it's a result that needs to be empirically verified in the data. I look at whether or not a prediction of the model that's been looked at in the literature before is truly valid in this setting. When separation and complete markets hold, optimal farm input choices are made completely independent of preferences and household characteristics. I begin by testing whether or not farm labor demand is truly unrelated to household composition. If complete markets hold, input choices are determined by the relationship between prices and their marginal productivity, completely independent of the demographic composition of the household. Testing this, I reject the hypothesis. This result is a clear contradiction to seminal findings in the literature that have supported complete markets in Indonesia. I then show that this result is robust to a number of concerns that have gone unaddressed in previous work. The results suggest that a wedge exists between the productivity of family members and labor that is hired onto the farm. Motivated by this finding, I develop an extended model of resource allocation within households that allows for heterogeneity in the skills and productivities of family and hired labor. By investigating the marginal productivities of different types of labor in on and off farm work, I provide empirical evidence that households sort their members according to comparative advantage. Broadly speaking, the results of the paper are important not only for investigating farm household behavior, but for the design and evaluation of development policy and for understanding complex behavior in rural markets around the world. <laughs>